2020 was a stressful year for everyone. When COVID struck, schools were shut down and students were stuck within their homes, forced to adapt to virtual learning and restrictions they provided. I'm here with teachers and students to just see how it affected their grades and social lives. How did virtual learning impact your grades? Um, it impacted my grades pretty hard. I went from being a straight A student to failing almost every class. It was, uh, it was pretty rough to be honest, but you know, we in ninth grade, we still made it, so we doing good. Well, when the lockdown first started, I had like a D in both biology and pre-calc. And then by the end of the lockdown, I had I had a B in, in biology and a C in pre-calc. I mean, I was just strolling through <laughs> like that. It, I, all those other people were like bad grades going down. I, was, I don't understand. I was enjoying my time. Mind telling me how lockdown made it back to your social life or your grades? Um, basically, I kind of had to stay in the house and I didn't really go out with my friends as much. It was kind of boring. Just watch a lot of Netflix. Due to COVID-19, about 95% of the schools globally shut down face-to-face -face teaching. My interviewer, Ms. Muller, details transferred face-to-face -to, -face to virtual and how it also affected her teaching. Do you wouldn't mind telling me how uh, lockdown may have affected your students' grades? Um, generally, my students' grades were lower than they typically are uh, during lockdown. They were struggling, for, for sure. Do you feel like in-person has uh, definitely helped your students improve over the past couple weeks? Absolutely. Being in-person is just unmatched. Do you think your teaching style has also evolved due to the restrictions you had during COVID? Yes, it made me appreciate having fun in class a lot more. Do you believe that virtual learning or in-person learning was more better fitted to you? Uh, definitely in-person learning. I take a lot of science classes, so I like interacting with people in there and also just like seeing my friends. In-person is definitely better. You know, just, I can, it, it's just better. I, I it depends on the class. If it's like, if it's like a math class, I'm gonna need that one-on-one -on -one time. But if it's in a writing class, I'd rather get my stuff done and then get on something else. What do you What do you believe the differences are between now with face-to-face -face, between virtual learning back then? Do you feel like you're you have improved since then? Uh, definitely. I feel that the the quality of learning is definitely always better one-on-one. -on -one. You can always get the teacher help. It's right there. You don't have to message on a Zoom call and wait for them to reply for you. So the quality of learning is always better one-on-one. -on -one. As vaccinations increase and case numbers drop, more students and teachers have begun in-person learning. After over a year of being trapped indoors, the full return to normalcy is on the horizon. Reporting for Walkout TV, I'm Houston O'Valley.